back, or if this is your first time, welcome to Talk to the Hand Reviews. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite fragrances, and I do mean one of my favorite fragrances, Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. I owe this fragrance a serious mood lift, <laughs> so stick around and I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, talk to the hand reviews. Please uh, like, subscribe, slap the bell, and holler at us if you like just reviews about cosmetic fragrances, skincare products, candy, low carb stuff. Basically, kind of like um, like bougie reviews of just like bougie stuff that's kind of fun for me. So today, I'm gonna start by spraying it around. This wonderful fragrance. It is so nice. Um, okay, the story of how it lifted my mood, how I, I feel like I owe it a serious debt as a mood lifter, is um, okay, I've worked as a professional singer, and a lot of that has been uh, working overseas in like hotels overseas, a lot of times hotels will hire a, a band or a duo or you know to, to come in and be an entertainer in the hotel and I'm so thankful that I've been able to do that in my life and um, I've done that quite a bit and um, I feel really thankful because you know I grew up in a single parent household, not a lot of extra money for me to be able to do much so I didn't really get to travel and uh, it was nice for me to figure out, be able to figure out a way to get paid to travel through singing, so, and also through being a musician, being a guitar player as well, I did that too. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, was doing this one gig, and I only brought one bottle of fragrance with me, and it's one that I dearly love, and I don't want to tell you what it is, because I don't want you to think it's not a mood lifter, it is, oh, it's one of my favorites, but... I only brought that one, and then this gig, sometimes the gigs, you get to a gig and you you don't get paid until after you've done, like you've been there for like, this one gig I think we did, we had to work for a month before we got paid, so it's kind of like, you, you gotta stretch everything out. We got paid, and I was like, oh yeah, it'd be great to, you know, get another fragrance, so I went, <clears throat> and the gig was kind of a bummer, because there were a lot of people involved in trying to decide how, uh, and decide some things about the show. And uh, it was kind of, it's kind of a bummer when there's not one person to answer to, but there's a lot of different people whose opinions, and then you offer your opinion, and, and they're like, well, they, they just want to do it because they're management or whatever. Anyways, um, the thing was, I was kind of bummed, and I bought this fragrance, and I'm not kidding you, this fragrance, just spraying it around the hotel room, because I lived in the hotel. Spraying it around the hotel room, it just, oh my gosh, it just, oh, lifted me up so much, and the... And the, and the rest, this was a six month gig I was doing. And like the rest of that six month gig, it was just on an upward climb, an upward hill, not an upward, sorry, not an upward climb. It was just like breeze at the back of it. it all the problems disappeared. It just became like this, this wonderful, great, cool gig that it was mostly, except for this difficult, part of it but that's just the way it is you know that everybody's jobs have problems just because you're working as a performer doesn't mean that you're not gonna have problems it's it's, it's common it's common but mostly it, I, I really really enjoyed it uh, and I haven't done it in, in years and years now but anyhow so this fragrance mm, it, it did it changed everything and I, I don't really I, I can't really say that about another fragrance that it did something really really did something definite for me uh, in the uh, mood boosting aromatherapy department. I mean, so if you're looking for something like that, this one. Okay, now I have a little bit of background about it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. I want to tell you some, I've got this new thing now. 
then I am trying to tell some of who was the nose? Who was the nose in the fragrance? Who was the nose who was response? Who's responsible for this? Okay. And so for Arden Green Tea, the nose was it's a well-known name, everybody. It's a very, very well-known name, and I think you're gonna be surprised, because I was. Francis Kirchen. Francis Kirchen. Francis Kirchen? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 you say. Yes, 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 I say. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Francis Kirchen. Okay, let's do a little. This, this this one requires a little bit of a slower. But, but, what else did Francis Kirkjohn create? I'm, I know you know, I know you know at least a few. But, here are some others by him. Oh, 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 here's a little thing by the name of Baccarat Rouge 540. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, from 2015 okay and I'm going to run through the rest kind of fast because I, I know that that one right there was a big old <gasps> wow so I mean I know you know the Baccarat Rouge 540 you probably know how popular it is right now I've never even tried it I've never even tried it I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't admit that, but I did. I just did! <laughs> oh! <laughs> anyway, no, I can't wait to try it, especially now that I know the same nose created it as my beloved green tea. I'm almost embarrassed to put that on my bottle there because it's, it's almost gone. It's not a model anymore, is it? It's just kind of like, yeah, this is definitely one she used. It's okay. I don't need to be ashamed of it, right? I'm proud. I love it. And I, I think you should try it. I think, and it's for any age. I know I say that a lot, but I really do feel like that. It's for any age. And it could even be a shared fragrance. It could be a men's fragrance too. It's, I wouldn't recommend it as much as I would some other women's fragrances uh, could be worn by men. But I do think uh, it is definitely a crisp, citrusy enough fragrance that a man could pull it off without anyone going, are you wearing women's fragrance? And why would they? Who cares? Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. All right, here, I'm going to run through these other ones fast because I'm trying to get, get, get that to with my videos because they, I do take a long time. Okay. Uh, okay. Francis Kirk John also created uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Lamal, 1995. Narciso Rodriguez, Her, Eau de Parfum, 2006. Dior Eau Noir, 04. Galant Rose Barbel, 05. Armani, Armani Mania, 02. And Yves Rocher, The Vert, 2015. And that's another green tea fragrance. Okay, so those are all from uh, Francis Kirkjohn. All right now. All right now. Uh, let's see. It is a uh, for, uh, for Grantica, which is where I get most of my information here that I share with you about where the top, you know, my top tens and all that, uh, and what's it smell like kind of thing. Um, I get it mostly from them. So in this case, they call it a citrus, uh, a citrus, a green aromatic, fresh, spicy fragrance. But now, now you know the next part, the next part I gotta tell you. Oh, oh, I have a celebrity's. I have a celebrity section for this one. I'm so excited because I, I like to I like to know. I'm curious to know what celebrities wear this stuff. I mean, why not? It's interesting to me. It's interesting to me. Okay. Beatrice Dow or Dally, and I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. Beatrice Dow is a celebrity who wears it. I know you know Catherine Zeta-Jones. Catherine Zeta-Jones wears it. And Canadian 
Manchon Juice, Nelly Furtado. Nelly Furtado. I can't see what. Oh, so many great songs. Anyways, she's a man eater. I don't remember that, but that Nelly Furtado likes it. Catherine Zeta Jones likes it. And Beatrice did now. I bet she's classy. I don't know who she is, but I bet she's cool. Alright, so moving on to the What's It Smell Like? What's It Smell Like? Uh oh, I was supposed to find out how to pronounce this one. I know I'm going to embarrass myself with this one because I forgot I was supposed to try to find out how to pronounce it. And see, I'm flipping around through this stuff and I'm supposed to be prepared. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> I hope I didn't, I hope I don't mess it up again. I'm probably just going to go with it if I do, so that you don't lose all faith that things are going to improve. I fully expect that things will improve. Okay, what's it smell like? Top 10, 10 to 1. Okay, starting with number 10. What does it smell like? Number 10, um, with 40 votes, was Assam of India Perfumes, Barovas, Barovas, or, or Berdos. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I didn't say it wrong. Um, and they had uh, 40 votes. 40 people felt it smelled similar to Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. Assam of India Perfumes, Verdos. Okay, number nine. This this guy, there's a lot of votes on this, eh? Um, number nine was, with 57 votes, was Ozone Woman from Sergio Tacchini. With 57, 57 people thought it felt that this fragrance smelled like uh, Ozone Woman by Sergio Tacchini. They thought it smelled like my wonderful green tea. All right. Number okay, 10, 9, 8. Okay. Number 8 with 61 votes was Green Tea Intense from Elizabeth Arden. Oh, how trippy I am. I'm doing that same thing I'm doing in the screen. Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Intense with 61 votes. That was number eight. Number seven. Number seven. Okay, I think I'm, I'm moving along okay now. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm up with it. Number seven with 70 votes was Valentino Donna Rosa Verde Valentino. Valentino Donna Rosa Verde Valentino. Ooh, I want to try that. That sounds fun. 70 votes. That was number seven. Okay, number. Uh, okay, now number six. Number six. <laughs> I'm moving along. I'm keeping up with myself. I hope. Uh, Wulong Cha from Nishane, or yeah, I believe it's called Nishane. Uh, with 94 votes, Wulong Cha Nishane 94. So uh, and then number five with. 97 votes was the vert and this is the one I know I'm saying it wrong and Lux Loxton I don't know I'm really sorry I knew I had to I researched this stuff I was like oh gotta look that one up because I know people pronounce it and every time someone pronounces it I think I got it and now I know so I'll just say L'Occitan L'Occitan uh, en Provence so it's the Vert, L'Occitane en Provence, the Vert. So 97 votes for that one. That was number five. Okay. Moving on. Moving on quick. Now, now, now the numbers increase quite a bit. Okay. Uh, number four, uh, Cafe Green from Cafe Parfums. 120 people thought it smelled like Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. Uh, Cafe Green from Cafe Parfums. 
120 people. Getting, getting close now. Number three, The Vert from Yves Rocher with 148 votes. The Vert by Yves Rocher with 148 votes. Oh my, where have I heard that name before? Where have I heard that name before? Well, we heard it just a few minutes ago when we heard that it's the same nose. <laughs> it's so interesting to me. It's the same nose. The same Francis Kirk John created Yves Rocher the Vert and also created Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. Look at how fun fragrance is. It's just like a, it's like a little, little, uh, it's like a history mystery. Okay, moving on. Number two is with 164 votes was the Vert by Nouvelle Etoile. A lot of these are called the Vert because it means, you know, green, I believe it, te, te Vert, green tea, right, te Vert. Um, Nouvelle Etoile, 164 votes. Te Vert by Nouvelle Etoile with 164 votes. Hello. So I wanted to tell you real quick of what, according to the uh, website, what the uh, actual uh, notes components are of this. So I'm just going to read you because I'm from here. Bergamot, caraway, fruity rhubarb, lemon, and orange zest are the top notes. The middle notes are green tea, cool minty peppermint, sweet jasmine, spicy carnation, fresh fennel, and crisp celery spice. And then the base notes, amber, oak moss, and musk. Whee! Ha! Mm, what a nice fragrance. Oh, I love it. Mm. So, gotta get down to the last one. Number one, are you ready? Drum roll, please. The Vert! Uh, sorry. Uh, the Vert by Yves Rocher. Well, wait. Fraisseur Vegetal. Now that's different. That's not the Vert. That's different. Fraisseur Vegetal by uh, the Vert Fraisseur Vegetal from Yves Rocher is not the same as the Vert by Yves Rocher. Uh, I have not tried them, but um, it's not the same based on the name. Guess how many people thought? You won't believe it. Guess. <laughs> I'll tell you if you're right or not. No. Okay. 499 people. 499 people. So, in short, green tea, good. Especially for uplifting mood lifting. I personally, I shared with you my little story about how it lifted my mood. And boy, did I need it at the time. So I would say go right out and get this. It's not, it's one of those fragrances that, okay, as much as I love fragrance, a lot of fragrances are too strong for me. I really can't handle a lot of stuff. So for me, this is the kind that I can spray it on me all day, every day. I could bathe in it. I could sleep in it. It would never, ever bother me in a negative way. It's just always fresh and clean and just, oh, pleasant smelling. So, Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. This one's called Green Tea Scent Spray. So, highly recommend it. And thank you so much for joining me again. And I hope to see you next time. And um, if you like, you know, reviews of just fragrance, cosmetics, skincare products, um, uh, chocolates, low carbing. Uh, lifestyle, this and that, because I, I like to talk about um, how I used to work in pregnancy cosmetics when I was younger. So, so thanks a lot. Have to see you next time. Bye.